You know, Ohio summer days can get really toasty. What helps more than a brewski? Not much. Let's go check some breweries out. Let's check out Central Ohio. Explore the city. We'll help you discover the glory and we'll reveal the nitty gritty. You're joining Laura and Melissa. Hi, I'm Laura. And I'm Melissa. We're going to show you our first stop on this brewery tour. It is the beautiful Noctera. Let's go. Yeah, we're doing a brewery tour and we got to figure out which one's our favorite. Okay, so I generally like wheat beers. I'm not super happy. Any suggestions? Yeah, we have the wheat. It's called our sunscreen. It's like our summer, summer wheat. It's really good. Uh, okay. We serve those with an orange slice as well if you'd like. So. Oh, for sure. That sounds going. exactly my jam. Let's do it. Thank you. Uh, so do you have ciders? We don't have any ciders. But we Ooh, have look at that. I see the key lime and coconut, yeah, and then. Okay. We don't like seltzers. We have. I'm so thirsty. Yes. Very citrusy and refreshing. It tastes like summer. Yeah. Coconut, key lime and coconut plus raspberry and was it blackberry? All mixed together in one. And it was beautiful pink color. So here at Nut Terra you can see very family friendly. Um, I think you can also bring your dogs too. So Laura, we are here in Plain City at 1487 Brewery. Yeah, let's take a look at the map because if you drive out to Plain City, you probably know like the Costco and the Aldi and that is just on the way here. You pass that and you head out Industrial Parkway just a little further and you land right here. Yeah, it is definitely along an industrial um, area. So a lot of different companies, um, industrial buildings here. Yeah. And I can see fields in any direction also, so you do have a little bit of a rural feel. Um, and you can hear the traffic. Probably would be covered up by some music in the evening if we were here. Right. You might notice there's a garage door on the brewery building behind us. That does come open some evenings when they've got the band and they create that flow. Um, really a neat facility here. Yeah, very, very nice atmosphere, very German-esque. What's unique here, one of the things, is how you order. That's right, they have these um, little table um, placards on each table and you scan the code and it's got it identified with the table that you're sitting at. So you just put your order in with your phone and then shortly after your food and your drinks arrive. I have to be honest, earlier when I, I've been here before and I ordered, it does cause you to do a little bit of work where rather than just scanning your card so that you've started your order, you do have to put in like your name, your email, and your CV code. So just a little bit of work, but I wanted you to know about that. If you're like, I already tapped out for the weekend, then maybe <laughs> let your friend open the, the card on the <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But yeah, kind of a unique way to order, I think. I haven't come across that yet. Man, they are fast here. <laughs> Thanks, which is what? I think this that's the, the blood orange. Sunrise. Yeah. Citrus sunrise. That's the lemon shandy. Okay, thank, thank you. you, Prost. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try Cheers. it. I'll tell you, I'm glad I got the little one. <laughs> yeah, this it's a heavy mug. These are legit. My favorite part though, it is a hot day and this is really cool beer and mine is a little bit of a citrus flavor, so it kind of takes the heat edge off, really. Yep, I love my, the color of mine. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> <laughs> um, mine matches our dresses. <laughs> it's really an accessory, not a beer. <laughs> we dress very well for our uh, citrusy yeah. beers, right? <laughs> it's all about planning out a little um, bit. So as far as flavor, what are you thinking with yours? What does it taste like? I can definitely, 
smell the blood orange more than I can taste it. Okay. Um, as you guys know, I'm not much of a beer drinker, so it's always a stretch for me to... <laughs> I, I am, so I'm going to sip. <laughs> I love it. It's really good. Um, so this is the Kolsch lemon, and it does taste a lot like a lemon shandy. A little bit more on the Kolsch side, though. So a little bit uh, heavier on the spices that, than the lemon shandy that I had at the previous brewery. Um, we're sitting outside, but take a look inside. It's got a really neat atmosphere in there, a lot of space. And right when you walk in that front door, you can't help but notice little names on the backs of the stools. And Melissa, I love that. It's kind of a nod to the very first investors of this brewery, right? Yeah, we asked the uh, marketing manager was here, and so she told us all about it. Um, so some of the first investors in the brewery, they paid to, base, well, they gave money and they got their names on the chairs, so. I'm still trying to find a way to get <laughs> Laura Russ on one of those. Could it possibly happen? Could I get a little gold plate, please? We should address, you guys, we get it. We are touring all of these breweries kind of in the day hours. And so you might be wondering what the crowds look like and what kind of entertainment. Remember, in the description below, we kind of walk you through what the vibe of each place is and some of the attractions for nightlife. But the reason Melissa and I are showing you during the daytime is we want to be able to give you a view of the actual facilities themselves, kind of what the layout looks like, what extras they have. If there were a lot of people out here, you may not see that, you know, some of them like Noctera and the place in Gahanna have really cool uh, yard games and cornhole and that sort of mm -hmm. thing. So we're trying to make sure you can see everything but then we'll also have in the description below sort of a layout of the food and which breweries don't have food, um, maybe who has happy hours and some of the live bands and that sort of thing. Yep. So we are here today with the one and only Matt. So first, would you just tell everyone who you are? Oh yeah, I'm uh, Matt Crum. I'm the Senior Director of Brewing Operations and Head Brewer here at uh, 1487 Brewery and Beer Garden in Plain City, Ohio. Okay. So Matt, tell us what makes 1487 Brewing Company special. Um, so uh, we get uh, all of our base malts from uh, Germany. Um, so that we use all of 100% uh, German malts and German hops for our German beers. Uh, we do make American beers as well, but we feel we do our German beers uh, very, very um, uh, unique. You do, and you can feel Bavaria when you step back here. <laughs> I mean, even the patio behind us, it has these awesome picnic tables. Mm -hmm. We've heard that you have live music that kind of celebrates yep. that. And in September, you guys even host a big festivity that would be very familiar to Germans. That's right. We're going to have our Oktoberfest, and that's on uh, September 16th, uh, 17th, 17th, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. wonderful. And and that's the funny thing about Oktoberfest. It has October in the name, but it always starts <laughs> right. at the end of mm -hmm. September. Church people. And yeah. Mm -hmm. It worked really well for us, so we just kept it going. All right. Okay. So orange, uh, blood orange is your most popular beer, but mm -hmm. you have a palate that's not like everyone, so we have to sure. know what is personally your favorite. Oh, you know, I gotta say, um, it's, it's a tie between our Hellas, which is just our basic, you know, lager, 5%, it's our beer-flavored beer, we call it, um, and our New England IPA, which actually won a bronze medal at the Ohio Brewers' Cup uh, last year. Okay. Um, so I'd say between those two, uh, those are probably my two. Nice, yeah. <laughs> medals, <laughs> love it. Very good, well, thanks for taking the time yeah, to absolutely. chat with us. Yeah, thank you guys for coming out. Yeah, thank thanks, you. Matt. You got it. <laughs> Cheers to Edison <laughs> Brewing Company. Yes, in Gahanna, close to the airport. Let's start with a sip. Let's see what, what taste we got going here. So I got the Rattler, very lemony. Um, I'm not a beer lover, so I had to get something with fruity. Yeah, <laughs> mine was like the Echo or the Edison, the, you know, I started with the She an had e. one job to remember what drink she got. I don't remember <laughs> the name of this brew, but it was the wheat beer. There you go, <laughs> just try the wheat beer, it's good. No, but not only is the beer good here at Edison, but the ambiance is pretty sweet. Yes, lovely tables out here with lights, and then you have a beautiful view of downtown Columbus. You know, they had this stage set up, Melissa. We'll give everyone a closer view of it. This stage looks like it is calling for a Laura and Melissa performance. 
<laughs> Are you a singer, dancer? What's your talent going to be? I'll be your backup dancer. <laughs> oh, okay. I think you could do the worm after a few more of these. Uh, probably so. <laughs> I, I've been known to. <laughs> <laughs> you know... Speaking of Melissa dancing, this is probably a good time to mention, we are recording all of these different breweries on different days. This is not one epic bender, but we are spacing them out. Yes, I need to pace myself because <laughs> about one is my limit. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing about the location here is we are on the east side looking west, which would mean a beautiful sunset. You also have the city skyline um, in the background too. So, And Melissa, this might be a good time to remind everyone, you know, Laura and Melissa, we are licensed realtors here in the state of Ohio. That's right. So if you need help finding a place to make your home here, definitely reach out to us. We love to find out what is your um, perfect home and help you find it. And we do commercial properties too. If you have some thoughts, we will meet you at a coffee shop or I don't know, maybe even one of these breweries. If this is your thing, we'll meet you here. Yep. We got to take a look inside too. It's really cute. Our bartender gave us a sampling of a few different beers. What'd you think of the samples? Well, I'm typically a cider person, so I did love the berry cider, but I stuck with a local brewed beer here. Yeah, why not? When in Rome That's or Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> or at Edison Brewing Company. <laughs> you know, the different colored tables out here are really cute too. Yeah, very lively. Um, you can also see some golfers out there. So it's, I don't know if it's actually, I think it's a driving range actually. Four. <laughs> I mean, if they had to call four, they were really shooting badly. They're not hitting the opposite yeah, direction. Say, they're not hitting towards us. So we're they safe. started at Edison Brewing <laughs> and then went to the links. That's how I would have to play golf. I think, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and you, when you're out here, you might hear a little noise above. That's right. We are very close to the airport. So you can sit and watch the airplanes fly by. Imagine where your next destination will be. <laughs> Speaking of that, let's shoot off to our next destination. Come on, let's go to the next brewery. Let's go. City Brewing Company and the Plum Run Winery. So it's a place that's combined. You so can you get can, everything, oh, everything yeah. you want. And okay, ciders, so everything. Tell me what you were anticipating before we landed here at Plum Run. I got to fix my new City. outfit. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, straightening up. Okay, so tell me about your anticipation, uh, what you thought this brewery would be like, and then now we're, that we're here. Yeah, so. In my mind, I was thinking it was going to be a bigger kind of outdoor area, mm -hmm. um, but it's kind of quaint actually. There's a little outdoor area, but I guess in my mind, I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's more like Noctera and Edison kind of yes. thing. Okay. Yes. Um, the space in here is huge. The inside area has a giant uh, brewery bar area, and then the winery, as you can see, is a little bit rented out right now, but that's a really cute space in there where you could sample all the different wines and speaking of sampling wines check I'm doing out today. Melissa's run of the mill <laughs> luckily it does have little labels on each one so that she knows I so which one trying. is your favorite so far I've only tried summer romance and the blackberry probably summer romance is better but I've got a lot to try mm -hmm. and what about you Laura what did you get so I chose the mango cream ale I'm not usually like a super ale, cream ale type gal, but mango had my interest and it's yeah, I was delicious. Say, I, I just smell. It's very mangoey. Want to try a sip? Sure. Give Al it a spin. Alcohol kills all germs. <laughs> sure, sure. I do have to tell you, I sampled the, what was it, the dry Catalba? Um, it was a beer. And I was thinking of getting that. It is not dry. There's a whole lot of sweet to it, which is good if you like that sort of thing. Um, it was a little too sweet for my taste buds. So, pro knowledge if you hop down to the Grove City. And the cheese curds, thumbs up. <laughs> All right, cheers. We've got a lot to sample. Gotta be careful Whoop. pulling that bad boy out. All right.
That's the fun one. Mm-hmm. You want to turn it around? You? Oh, does it have the logo? I love on that. It's drink oh. beer he made here. Oh. Melissa, Grove City Brewing was delicious. Yes, Laura. And you know what? The owner even came out and talked to us, so he's going to give us a little tour backstage. Let's go take a look at how the winery and the brewery actually comes up with their sweet recipes. Let's go. So this is where the magic happens. <laughs> These are so cool. All right, we are behind the scenes with Dave Crosby. He bought all of this, and Dave, you got it started about a decade ago now, right? Yeah, we started in uh, 2012. My wife and I opened the winery, Plum Run Winery. That's the name of the creek that was on our farm oh, in, in yeah. southern, southern, uh, southern Grove City. So we were the, actually the only vineyard in Franklin County at one point. Um, we had about three and a half acres of grapes. We're no longer growing grapes. We no longer live on that property, but we kept the name Plum Run Winery. Love it. And we're standing right in front of, it looks like a cab saw. Mm -hmm. What are we looking at with these barrels? Uh, we're just aging some red wines here. Uh, there's a variety of different ones. Um, the cab saw, some of that will go into a wine called Embers. Okay. And, so, and some of them might go into a wine called 3946, which is our bourbon barrel aged. So right now we have no bourbon barrels aging that wine, but we will here. Shortly. fairly soon okay melissa is a, the white wine connoisseur and i'm the red wine connoisseur so um what can you tell us about how either of those relate to ohio and what you prefer well there's a there's a lot of grapes that grow in ohio right? and ohio is a great great grape growing area especially along lake erie but and ohio river but every county can grow grapes some kind of uh, the doll grows everywhere um, Niagara grows most places, Concord. So you have you can have French American hybrids growing a lot of places, American grapes growing. Vinifera is a little more t a little more weather dependent. You know the cab sobs are a little harder in Central Ohio, as I found out on my farm. Mm -hmm. But growing them by Lake Erie, they do well. Right. So it just depends location. And I notice the Treminet, 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 Treminet. There are a lot of wines with that here in Ohio and it, and maybe Indiana too, but it's sort of a pride point of the Midwest where I don't see many of those in other areas. Well, it's a, it's a French-American hybrid grape. So one of its parents is Gewürztraminer, which is an old German grape, and it has a natural spiciness. When we first opened, we had a straight-up Traminette, but now we just blend it with another grape called Steuben, and that's our summer romance. Uh, other wineries so have... one that I tried! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I felt like Summer Romance reminded me a lot of the wines that my grandma made down in her cellar and she would share with us. Yep, so, so. It's, it's just an easy drinking wine. It makes it, you know, a lot of people like adding fruit to it and other things and have kind of a summery drink with it. Um, but it's, it's been a wine we've had for quite a few years. Now, we know we have to let you get back to bottling, mm. but one last thing, um, is there any one last thing you'd like to share with people who might be thinking about coming down to your winery? Uh, not only my winery, but all of Central Ohio. We have we have wineries that the winemakers around. The, in our case, we have a brewery also. So the brewers around, we're willing to answer your questions when we're here, um, and and take little tours like you're doing right right now. Right. There. Now it's time to go grab a little dog. That's right, let's get it. Let's do it. Brew dog. Woo! Cheers. Cheers. Let's try it. Ooh, tasty. A little pineapple cider. Um, yeah. I can't remember if mine was the pineapple or the Hellcat, but really all the brew dogs are good. And Brewdog is really big here in Central Ohio. So if you like beer, this is one more draw. Yeah, it's very cool restaurant atmosphere, you know, got it all. Okay, so we've been out shooting and we got a little hungry. So we dipped into Brewdog for some mm -hmm. lunch. And beverages and all the things 
it's BrewDog is really a good example though of what we're talking about in Franklin 10 as far as um, really cool business ideas, really good product, but also a desire for social enterprise and, and helping others and giving back. So not just one, but three of the charities that I work with, we have gotten donations from BrewDog and one we've even hosted events here. So, you know, this is just another really good example of companies, businesses, people who want to give back. They seem to kind of hub here in Franklinton. Yeah, we So let's do this one. <laughs> Quick, Melissa, look, look a little busy. Ooh, Jesus is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but we now have nine viewers worldwide <laughs> subscribing to our channel. <laughs> Very important. <Man. laughs> I mean, who doesn't want to follow this fun stuff? <laughs> nine worldwide. Living it up. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. What's your flavor? Mango seltzer. Mine's delicious. down real well so I might have to buy the next round <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> or wait yep yep <laughs> beer it's what's for dinner <laughs> or lunch I mean Whatever that was our lunch it. today right or, for you, or appetizer that is not our trend it is not our norm but for you we will have a beer at lunchtime yeah you, you know we got to get the videos in people we <laughs> <laughs> this has been a really fun tour of just a few of the breweries that are right here in central Ohio and I mean not just breweries but murals I hope you've noticed some of the art too I think that's a neat thing that we've seen going hand in hand with the yeah. craft beer here in Ohio a lot of times we're seeing cool murals um, neat branding unique names like was it the Holy Trinity what were some yes. of your beer names oh my gosh Holy Trinity well Jesus loves blondes we had I can't disagree I can't. <laughs> they had a sign that said look busy Jesus is coming or Jesus feels is coming accurate. look busy yeah, yeah. <laughs> feels accurate you gotta pretend yeah no, so <clears throat> it's a lot of humor a lot of fun but yeah. beer brings out the lightheartedness in most people yes so right now we're at Crooked Cannon Hilliard what are some other ones in Ohio in Columbus that we've We've they had the crooked pills here and that's what I sampled it was really delicious if you you know I'm, this is horrible to say but I'm not an IPA person I know most people are that's not my jam um, that was a really tasty one and you had the I had a cherry cider and I had yeah it was, it was good. on it the was sweeter good. side it was good but yeah so I mean Crooked Can is one place in Columbus. This is in Hilliard. Where are some other places we've we've um, ventured? Nocturne, Noctera. Noctera. Noctera and Powell. North High Brewing, Brewing has a Dublin location and a short north location. Probably others, but those are the two I've been to. I really enjoy North High Brewing. They yeah. have some awesome flavors. Um, um, I know in Worthington we have Zaftig. Um, I, I'm not a huge beer person, so I don't know. Maybe, Laura, you yeah. know more of the brewing companies but yeah there's another high brewing that's just delicious also and just 
interesting micro brews all around central Ohio and you can actually get a passport and earn yourself a free t-shirt and really, why aren't we doing that uh, okay so let's start that <laughs> we'll start that we'll update you on how that goes in the comments below also if you have a recommendation on an awesome Ohio craft brew please 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 put that in the comments we'd love for other people to learn from you um, some of the awesome flavors that are being created here and if you like to make your own maybe you are a micro brewer yourself um, in the short north they have you can create your own wine and create your own beer so if you're going on a date night or um, you know a guy's night out girls night out you can create your own and then it also makes a future date to where you come back to pick it up and enjoy it and that kind of thing so that is fun yes and if you are maybe you know married to or friends with a beer drinker but you yourself are not a big beer drinker many of these places have great options for those of us who are not beer drinkers so you know the ciders and the seltzers so there's always usually something um, that everyone. everyone will love um, another big trend that just reminded me I have to toss this in there another big trend are um, I think it's considered sober curious drinks. So, um, you know, those drinks that don't have alcohol but still have all the flavor of cocktails and that kind of thing. There are a lot of options in that vein that are, are really being poured out on the menus in a lot of restaurants and breweries throughout Central Ohio. In Brew Dog fact, has a few of those. There is a, um, a bar that just opened up the Dry Mill, I believe is mm -hmm. what it's called. Um, so it's a sober bar. So. Like I said, there is something for everyone in Columbus, for sure. Well, we've had so much fun. Hopefully you have too. We cannot wait to read your comments below, or if you have something more specific to Melissa and Laura, we have our own email, and that is liveincolumbusoh at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. See ya. Bye. So Laura, we are here in Plain City at 1487 Brewery. Wait. Right, God damn it. There's sometimes extra R's after you've had a beer. It's cool. Right. Okay. You know, you might notice they have a giant garage door on the actual brewery, brewery building behind us. Say that three times real fast. <laughs> <laughs> places, please, places, please. Take one. Okay, this is my left foot I wish mark, I had a right? place to hide this. Oh, yeah, I just sloppily put mine on. I got to do better. Do better, letter. Hey, don't watch. I'm going to be going up my skirt yeah, for this microphone. Okay. This goes this way and put it on. All right. Boop. Okay. All right. Okay. Edison Brewing. Brewing. What's your beer called? Radler. Very Radler. lemony. And what's mine called? Don't know. That was your job. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> Eccles, Edinburgh. Does yours taste lemony? It tastes... <sighs> lemony. I think that this is mine. <laughs> Because I'm like, I don't love, I mean, alcohol, it should, nothing should be growing. Let's hold it like this. That's a good point. Yes, this one's fine. I'm like, mm -hmm, that's... Well, thanks for the sips. You know what? Shame on you, bartender. Get them straight. 